Hi friends, Sam here with Happily Hooked. So today we have a new item that we're reviewing. I'm so excited about this. This is the Clover Flower Loom. It is probably one of the cutest little things I have ever seen. There's a ton of different pieces in it. I've never worked with anything like this before, um, but I am super obsessed with it. It has six different shapes. It's a hexagon loom, um, square looms, round looms, a center peg, a basin cover, and then it comes with a tapestry needle too. So I'm really excited to open this up and check it out. So I just want to make sure you know, I've never used this type of thing before. I've never really done a lot with looms, so we're gonna be learning as we go. So I'll give my review of what I think about it at the end of it, but I want to give my first reaction of this as well right up front. So we're gonna open it up, grab some yarn, and see how it works. Hi friends, real quick, when you click the link below to join Happily Hooked Magazine, not only do you get to join the happiest place on earth for crocheters, you're also going to get these amazing hooks and this amazing project bag that I use every single day. So click the link below and subscribe today and I'll see you in the community. Bye! Okay, so like I said, today we are working with this Clover Flower Loom. I'm super excited about this. So I'm going to take it apart and then we're going to go through the instructions on the back and see if we can figure it out. How does this come apart? <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. So this comes with, it's got the lid on it. And then it's got a bunch of different pieces. It has a little tapestry needle. Okay, and then this stays in there. Got it. All right, so it's six shape sets. Oh, goodness gracious. It has some instructions, doesn't it? All right, so the first thing we're going to do, let's see. So it has this little book paper thing. Oh, it's not little. Never mind. Let's look and see. So we are going to, I want to make a little flower. That's the first thing that I want to make. So it says select a loom and attach it to the base. So let's do this one. Got it. And then we're going to grab our yarn. So I'm going to use the, the red heart and tea leaf like I always do. So tie a knot about four inches from the end of the yarn. Thread the yarn through the hole on the edge of the base. Okay. Insert the yarn firmly in the slit to secure it. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Am I supposed to thread this yarn through? supposed to do this? Okay, maybe it's this. So we tied a knot. I feel like I need I need to know how long of the yarn you're supposed to use, maybe. I don't know, we're gonna test this out. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing with this. I haven't watched any videos, so this is a reaction video and it's going to be a how to use this video because we'll figure it out. I think this is wrong. This is probably wrong. Please don't get mad at me in the comments. Okay, so it said a knot, so not a slip knot, probably. 
So tie a knot. Can I tie a knot? Do I know how to do that? Okay, tie a knot. I feel like this is wrong, but that's okay. Oh wait. As I'm knocking things over, it's okay. So there's a little slit here on the side. So we're going to ta-da. Okay, awesome. So wind the yarn around the pegs. So like, oh wait, we probably have to go This is tricky. So we've ah. so we did that. We've got two rounds. Awesome. Tying that right here. I probably should tie it at the bottom. Probably not there. So I didn't tie it very tight. Got it. All right. So thread the yarn. So I did that onto the needle. So now we're going to, we're going to look at the instructions. <laughs> Okay, so apparently there's like a billion different ways to do this. So, we're going to go underneath. I think I was only supposed to do one layer. That's okay. So what it says is to go up from the middle and up to the center peg and then separate each petal and go from the outside, making sure that it doesn't loop around the peg. I probably should have done this in a different color. We're learning here. We're learning. I 
also think this is a hundred percent made for somebody with smaller hands and I don't have very big hands to start with but this might be more of a let my daughter play with it kind of thing I think I did it. We got it all the way around. Awesome. And then we're going to tie this. Because I don't want it to come apart. Awesome. And then remove loom from base. So I have to untie this. Okay. So untie this. I'm just tying it around the peg right now so that way it doesn't fall apart on me. I'm going to do some more research after this one and that way we can figure it out. Awesome. And then carefully it says remove flower from loom. Haha. -ha. So then I would just weave in all of the ends and I have a cute little flower. Okay. So this is my first flower <laughs> minus the weaving and ends part. So I did a double layer flower. I also missed a spot here on the back. That's okay. So I'm going to go research this really quick, figure this out a little bit more, read. I didn't know it was coming with a whole book. So I'm gonna read the book, I'm gonna figure it out, and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys how to actually do this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I read the book. I think I've got it figured out. So the middle part does come out. That's cool. So I took that out. So I'm gonna move all these over, and then I just put the circle one on here because I think I figured it out. So what we're going to do, I just grabbed this skein of Karen Simply Soft um, and we put the yarn in like that and this is where we tie the knot. So we tie just a regular knot right here and then we slide it over. So it, it goes in there. That's what I've, I've seen. So like what I get from there. So we start in the middle and we bring our yarn all the way up and then we bring our yarn back and then we loop it around and we do it this way. This seems to make more sense to me very possible I'm still doing it wrong but this is what I read now that I am I think the problem that I have is that it's so oh I missed it I missed a peg is that it's just a little bit tricky so your yarn doesn't fall off. But I like that you can, I'm like struggling with rotating it far enough. But I like that the middle part comes out.
this already looks better. <laughs> this already looks better than the first one. So we're just going to keep going until I get everybody on their pegs like they're supposed to. There we go. Awesome. So I think this is technically how it's supposed to be loomed. I think this is how it's supposed to look. Okay, so I've got, I've got the, I took the end and I untied it and then I just tied it into a little bow right here. And then I grabbed the green yarn and I cut a piece of that and I put it on my tapestry needle. So what it looks like is we come up through the middle and then we're gonna go in between the petals like I was doing before, but this is a little bit easier because we don't have that middle piece in there. And then each set of petals, we're just going to separate and go back through the middle. And then we'll come up between this one. And back down. And we'll just keep doing this all the way around and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so we've got this part done. So now what we do, so I think I figured it out. So I think you're supposed to come up through the middle and down and around the petals, but that's okay. Um, I was just rereading it to make sure. So we undo this part. And 
and then we take this off and then so these flowers are normally used for like all different kinds of decor so whether it be like on a bag or on a sweater or something like that so you tend to want them to look really pretty on the front and the back the darning needle that this comes with is not the easiest to work with so that's okay um, this is obviously just my second one I've ever made so it's not going to be perfect but I'm gonna tie this so it doesn't fall apart I'm gonna grab a different tapestry needle just because that plastic one feels like it's going to snap um <laughs> And then I'm just gonna weave this little end in. These loops are really, like really tight. So we'll get as much as we can. And then I will just cut that. And then we also want to bring the tails that we tied and bring those to the back and weave those in. So these will just go through that petal and then if we can make them fit. It's like I said, I pulled this a little tight so I will know for future not to make it so tight. Because you wouldn't want on the back of your flower to have this pink sticking through. But that's okay. So now we're going to push this off the loom. And now we actually have a cute little flower. Oh, this is precious and this is so much better than this one. <laughs> Oh goodness gracious. This is really cute. I love this. Um, even though it's not perfect, I love it. And I think it's really cute. So let's recap. This comes out. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. Um, the tapestry needle, not my favorite, but that's okay. I've got a billion of them, so I don't mind. I do love that these all like fit back on here. I have to figure out how they do that, but Oh, it goes this way. That's right. It was upside down. Um, but I love that. Like, I think it's very cute. It is a little squeaky, though. So, that's fun. Um, but yeah, I love, I love that everybody has a home. So, I won't lose them. And then this goes on here. And this goes in the middle. And then this awful tapestry needle and ta-da and now my little looms all put back together I love that I think it's very cute um I could definitely see my daughter making a bajillion of these but yeah so this is how you use the loom kind of and if you've ever used one let me know in the comments below I would love to hear and I will see you in the next video bye guys